Republican, they are off to a great start. And joining me now is Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe, a veteran himself. And, sir, thank you uh, for coming on, and thank you for your service. Um, tell, yeah, us, good to see you. tell us how you served your country. I enlisted after 9-11. 9-11 happened in my first semester of law school, and I was moved and motivated by the event, so I enlisted. Went in as an E-4, went through uh, infantry, went through infantry officer training, spent about a year and a half as an infantry officer, then transferred to the JAG Corps, and then deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom in 06 to 07 with the 25th Infantry Division. So 9-11 inspired you. You still remember the way you felt after that happened? Yeah, I mean, I didn't have any plans to go into the military, and then yeah. my first semester of law school, sitting there watching the towers get hit, and, yeah. you know, I felt like this was my generation's calling to serve, and if you were able body and able to do it, uh, there's no reason why you should uh, not serve your country, so I felt motivated to go in. It's amazing. Why, why are veterans good for politics? Well, I tell you, at the federal level, it's real good because we oversee Veterans Affairs. And a bill that I've been working on for years is called the VA True Choice Bill that would give veterans who are service-connected disabled the ability to get TRICARE Prime and TRICARE for life. So instead of being forced into a socialized VA system that doesn't work for all veterans, right. they would get True Choice. They would have the ability to go anywhere they want to go to get the health care they need and deserve at the time that they need it. And I think that will have a real effect on their overall health care. And I, I would submit to you this, those 21 to 22 veterans a day that commit suicide, they wouldn't be committing suicide when they could go to a mental health provider right there in their community at the time that they're having a mental health crisis when they need it. I can't believe, I, I still just, that number just shocks me. I mean, I, I, maybe it's just the general size and scale of the military and how many have served, but 20, 21, 22 veterans every day kill themselves. And that's a number that yeah, is just overlooked by so many in this country. Well, and it's 21 to 22 veterans a day, too many. I mean, these are individuals that need help. Yeah. Most of them know that they need help, and a lot of them reach out to the VA. I've talked to parents of uh, service members that had committed suicide, and they say that they reached out to the VA, and the VA either hung up on them or said, yeah, we'll see you in 30 days or 60 days, and doesn't give them the health care that they need when they need it. And that's completely unacceptable for a country that has these veterans who served us to give us the freedoms that we have today, the least we could do is to ensure that we have the health care for them when they need it. That's exactly right. And there was so much progress being made working on VA, working on all of those issues that, that Trump instituted when he went in. I mean, they, they, they're making fantastic progress. Is, is that lost now? Is that continuing? No. No. Trump passed the Mission Act, which is a great step in the right direction. And Trump, yeah. before he left office, had indicated that he would sign my bill if we were able to get it to his desk. Unfortunately, Democrats, of course, do not support it. Um, but I can tell you in this new majority, when we get the House back, it's something that uh, Kevin McCarthy has committed to me that we will get passed. Uh, I guess we'll see what the Senate looks like. And maybe if we can pass it through the House and the Senate, maybe we can get enough support behind it for Joe Biden to sign it. I love it. Congressman, thank you so much uh, for taking the time. And again, thank you for your service. We appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Coming up, Massachusetts liberals vote.